lucky. Wow, sad. Time for Nick to hand out some NBA medals. You mentioned this one, Waz. Final seconds of King's Suns. Harrison Barnes catches and launches, and it's good. King's win at the buzzer in the desert, but Barnes just missing out on a medal. Nick, which three guys did it better last night? All right, we'll start with the bronze. He wasn't super efficient, but he was the genesis of the comeback. SGA, Shea Gil Gilgis Great Alexander, photo. pardon me. 27, nine and five, including that banked in three, which gave the Thunder the lead heading into the fourth. He gets the bronze medal. Silver medal, Giannis. Giannis had far and away the best stat line in the NBA last night. However, his team lost to a Thunder team that's playing quite well, by the way. Some good wins for them. So but so Giannis gets 40, 16 and seven. Only the silver had they won, he'd have gotten the gold. And the gold goes to someone who did win, Trey Young. A ho-hum regular game for Trey. 31, five and seven for Trey Young against the Zion-less Pelicans. And they might be Zion-less through Christmas. That's a scary story, what's going on there with his foot. Trey Young gets his first gold of the year. Broussard, there is the podium. I know you agree with it, but because I just embarrassed you moments ago on the bud list, you're going to find some issue with it. Well, you're darn right I'm going to find an issue. Look, Giannis can be on there every night. Why don't you give some love to the Timberwolves? We know this 3-1 this start isn't going to last. They're in, a, in a month, they're going to be eliminated from potentially getting on the, the podium. So give them love now. D'Angelo Russell, 29. No, I was just mean I ain't going to take it ball. Simple, just making plays and trying to make lives and too many mishaps on my, on my, on my, on my part. So this just on me. But I'm going to take care of it. I know that. And keep the game simple um, because we, we need those possessions, especially in games like this. Chris Broussard, you think last night's loss was more about LeBron's absence or Russ's struggles? Look, I'll play along, and if I have to answer that question, I'll say Russ's struggles. But the fact is, it was really neither. You shouldn't need LeBron James to beat the 0-4, that's what they were entering the game, Oklahoma City Thunder. They're probably the worst team in basketball. All right, and that Houston, for goodness sake, beat them by 33. They were one of four teams entering the game that was shooting 40% from the floor, one of five teams in the NBA. Uh, league worst 40%. And the Lakers, for all of Russ's turnovers, their defense, which has been bad all year so far, was horrific. And they allowed Oklahoma City, who I mentioned was shooting 40% from uh, the field entering the game, to shoot 50% and just shoot 40% from three. All right? It was ridiculous what was happening. And I think the Lakers got up 41-19 after one quarter and relaxed. And then once they, you know, Oklahoma City plays hard, they come back, and now the Lakers have to kind of turn it on again, and they couldn't. But you, we talked about Westbrook. Yes, he was bad. I mean, you mentioned the quadruple double, the 10 turnovers. He had four in the first three minutes of the fourth quarter. That kind of, like the game had already been turned, but it allowed Oklahoma City to get a little bit of cushion. They went up by six. But the Lakers still had a shot at the end. And Russ takes a bad three-pointer. Remember, he's a 17% yep. shooter this season from three. And that's actually a boost. He was at 9% a few days ago, all right? I guess he thought he was hot. He takes a bad three at the end of the game and misses with 27 seconds left. Malik Monk, who I sang Malik Monk's praises yesterday, he throws up an air ball from three. Which I don't know what he was thinking because he took it quick. And I, I got Anthony Davis. I got Melo out there and even Russ. I'd rather get the ball in one of their hands. And then Melo gets a steal late. And he throws up an air ball from three, wide open. And so Russ, yes, was bad. You can't be turning it over ten times, Nick. But it was a lot more than Russell Westbrook to blame for this loss. Yeah, a thousand percent. And I'm going to focus on the defense and the coaching. The, the defense, they've given up 115 points or more in every game this season. No Lakers team ever 
has started the year giving up 115 and five straight. Even those awful teams post Kobe, pre LeBron, no Lakers team's ever done this. And the fact that the Lakers, because they were up 26 with four minutes left in the second quarter, and then they were trailing in during the fourth quarter. So from that, when they were up 26 with four minutes left in the second quarter to the end of the game, they gave up 80 points. That's a pace of 148 points in a 48-minute game against the Thunder, who Broussard said it too kindly. They not, th th there's no maybe they're the worst team in basketball. <laughs> they're the worst team in basketball. At the end of this year, <laughs> you might very well be able to count all the Thunder victories on two hands. I think 10 wins is in play, and one of them just happened last night. So that can't happen. And the fact that the Thunder were able to erase the deficit entirely before the fourth quarter even started is actually even worse for the Lakers because what that means is they had their attention by the fourth quarter and they couldn't beat them for a quarter. And that was the defense got a little bit better then, but then the turnovers and the offense was awful. This will be the worst loss of the season. And Wilds, I, I'm going to zero in on yeah, one man. small thing that's not a small thing. I mean, Frank Vogel, I understand the players maybe, you know, they didn't really play in the preseason, a little rusty. Frank Vogel's got to snap into it. At the end of the game, 35 mm. seconds left, down one, after a timeout, got to have a stop. You have two timeouts. If you get the stop, you're calling timeout to set up your play. So it's a defensive possession. Why is Carmelo Anthony on the court? What are you doing? Oh, you I scored. You. OKC called timeout. There's 40-ish seconds left. You had setting the play. Why, on a defense-offense situation, is Carmelo Anthony on the court? I love Melo. He's not there to help you get stops when you're going to call timeout after the play. That's bad coaching. He had Russ and Rondo on the court together again for stretches last night. That's bad yep. coaching. Yep. So, yes, of course, if LeBron wasn't there, was there, Wilds, they would have won. But this is the thunder. This is a terrible team, and to lose this game the way they did, it's just unacceptable. A little, a little wary. You're going through it this week, buddy. Between the Chiefs and the Lakers, I feel, <laughs> yeah, I feel like we're, we're having that. like a. You guys a keep fan. saying, oh, that. I'm I'm not not a Lakers okay. no, I didn't accuse. I didn't accuse you of Lakers fan. I didn't I'm not say a Lakers that. fan. I'm just saying you're going through it a little bit. Okay. I thought LeBron you had a fondness fan. for LeBron, LeBron James. Plays LeBron plays Lakers. on the Lakers, you know. Yeah, and LeBron plays. All right, Broussard, here's well, my if thing. If that's the case, and, and then, the then record, I should be happy when they lose without him. But go ahead, Wilds. I mean, if that's no, the that's case, true. if it's just a LeBron thing, then I should, then Push last down. night was great for me. Look at the Lakers. They can win the title with them. Without him, they lose to the Thunder. <laughs> Add it to the GOAT resume. I'm just saying. But go ahead, Wild Star. <laughs> All right, so so I think it's time to Fake start worrying about the Lakers' age. And here's why. When you get a little bit older, and we're burying the lead now because it's Broussard's birthday, but I'm also a little bit older, <laughs> you got to have your old man antennas up. Like New Balance released some sneakers, a new collaboration. I'm like, ooh, do I like those? Are those cool? Or do I like them because they're New Balances? The Lakers need to be uh, have their antennas up. Why? Because 36-year-old Mello airballed a three? No, that's not it. Is it because old man LeBron has already missed 40% of the Lakers games? That's not it either, Broussard. It's because Russell Westbrook is talking about playing the game the right way. At the end of the game, Russ gets ejected <laughs> because Darius Baisley, 21 years old, gets this dunk. Everybody loved it. Everyone loved it. Oh, everyone's happy except Russ. Broussard, in his post-game comments, guess what he starts talking about? Unwritten rules, like in baseball, you don't flip the yep. bat. He actually said that. What, that wasn't your great uncle that you only see on Thanksgiving. That was Russell Westbrook. Here's the thing. Thunder have a reason to celebrate. If we can show the graphic, this is not only a, a statement win for the Thunder, it's a statement win against the entire Lakers franchise. 25 years, 239-0. and 0. Thunder put an L on the record. Wow. So, Broussard, were you okay with wow. Russ being mad at Baisley for the end of the game dunk? Not at all. Uh, bravo for Derek.